Hi, I'm Mayor Tuck. In our last broadcast, we brought you up to date on the things the city's doing to keep our citizens safe in the face of the oncoming threat of the coronavirus. In the last 24 hours, a number of things have happened that we want to update you about. One, Governor Ralph Northam declared a statewide emergency. In that emergency, it closed schools for the next two weeks. It also allowed us to declare a local state of emergency, and I'll call our city manager, Mary Bunning, to bring up the date on those things. As the mayor mentioned, we did declare a local emergency today. That local declaration was important to send a strong message to the community that we are entering into another phase of the COVID illness response. Now, what we are doing is multifaceted. First, we have canceled large-scale events at city facilities such as the Coliseum and the Convention Center. And we realize this may be a disappointment to some, but we want to play our role in ensuring that as the health department officials suggest, we do everything we can to slow the spread of the disease. And the, the more social distancing we have, the better off we're gonna be in achieving that goal. We're also taking the added step of closing city public facilities, such as community centers, libraries, and city hall. Now we're doing that because we, again, want to help slow the spread of the illness, but also because we wanna make sure that our city employees are able to come to work and continue to operate seamlessly for you. And the less public traffic we have in our facilities, the less likely we are to get the illness in our city facilities. Now, what does this mean for you? Really, frankly, very little. Your basic city services you've come to enjoy, such as picking up the trash, the uh, police, fire operations, et cetera, are all gonna continue just as they would on any other day. If you need to engage with City Hall, we will continue to do that with you electronically or telephonically. We're very blessed to have good technology in our city so that if you wanna get a permit or if you want to file for financial assistance with social services, you can still do that without having to come down to our facilities. We're really trying to do all we can to make sure we have long-term staffing throughout the health crisis and we want to make sure that we continue to serve you each and every day so please understand that these short-term inconveniences are really in the interest of our community and workforce public safety as the city manager said keeping our residents safe is our number one priority the city council and i have full confidence in our city staff and first responders ability to do just that keep yourself and your family safe Continue to monitor us on our Facebook page and website for updates. Thank you.